Oi, oi. Hi everyone, I'm Will from Wheels Electrical Services, also known as the Midfield General. Welcome back to my channel. In tonight's episode, what I want to do is I want to go back to my very first episode where I showed off the super rods and all the different types of rods that I use. If you could do us a big favour and like, subscribe and hit the bell. Ting! And, uh, <laughs> oh, it's so noncy that, but I have to do it. Um, yeah, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring them in and have you a quick look. What it is, is uh, I, I keep seeing everywhere that put all these mega, mega deals, mega rods and all that. And uh, I basically, on Amazon, you can buy the spare ones for five, five for about 25 quid or something like that. And it's an absolute bargain because what I do is with all the accessories and all that, I don't actually use them, you know what I mean? Because I, I, what I find is if I'm doing a rewire or anything like that, then them bits just get lost. They're just in the little tube, they, they roll under. I've never, you know, I've been using rods. I've been doing bits and bobs domestically for about 10 years now and all that. And they're always going, what I do is I bring some in and I give you examples of bits and bobs of them yeah yeah so there's two, two types that i use i use these uh the mighty rods from ck ah oh, it's a laughable as well is that they say that it's high screened anti-snag and anti-splinter that is absolutely absolute nonsense i tell you because it are oh, the pain that goes for it in my local wholesalers so i've actually got quite a few uh, i've got enough cut of packs of these because obviously I, I lend them out to subbies and all that but these are okay but the thing is with them is that they do snap they are a bit more pliable you know basically if you know the super rod product and all that they're, they're in between the red and the yellow and like i bought these these are absolutely awesome i love the yellow ones they're, they're really flexible but the problem is is with us is that i've lost the bottom of the, either end of the tube is that we snap them you know what i mean and they snap like anything and they splinter like anything what i discovered was is that you can buy these spare ones which actually come in these rods from uh Amazon and they're 25 quid five for one meters and they come in a, a tube that's even better because that's the original pack screw I've had loads of these packs but these are the, the original ones and I love these the red ones are absolutely awesome you know what I mean it's like they're, they're far superior to the CK ones the ends are all welded on they're absolutely beautiful but what you can do is this is the shock horror is uh, with these these cost about 30 quid and they come with all this accessory pack it's even got a five mil adapter and what that is is that that joins this type with them type so what you could do is literally you get 10 in there five in there the two of them together you're looking just over 50 quid for a mega set oh no he didn't oh yeah he did <laughs> <laughs> I love it because I don't use them bits and it does come in handy. Quite a few of those, um, oh, what do they call them? Is they call them the some type of sock and all that where you pull the cable on. I don't get involved in all that because when I'm on a rewire, I'm on a full rampage mode. Do you know what I mean? Bits and bobs go everywhere. I'll show you a couple of little bits. I bought this. I'm sure I doubt you, you know, I doubt you watched my first video because no one did. But like, I'll quickly show you this. I bought this by mistake. I bought this when I was half cut at home on Amazon. And like these, these are the different types. So if you was to buy the mega, mega type, you would get these. So that one, white is pliable. I don't know what you'd use that for, but actually what that would be good for is that, you know, when you're wiring through this, like the ceilings and it goes up and hits the, uh, hits the um, tongue groove of all of the floors, that'd be pretty good. But I suppose you could use this bit, but honestly, I, I just, I don't throw them away. They just get lost, you know what I mean? Because that, that hook there, basically just tape a bit of twin and earth over, bend it, you know what I mean? You just got to do what you got to do. You know, I wish I could be a bit more organised, but most of the rewires I ever do, or if we do remedials or extra extra light work and all that you lifted the carpet you know stuff goes missing so I've just learned how to adapt with it all and all that but oh what an absolute product though you know it's my favorite like these ends are perfect and what is good and I've not had but I've, I'm half tempted to get a set is that you've got these black ones and what we used to do I used to do a um, 
I used to do a job for a guy, guy from uh, GC Electrics in Wellington City. He's pretty big on, uh, he's pretty big on Twitter, the old guy. And he used to have a contract. He's still got it as it goes, because uh, he asked me if he wanted, if I could get a couple of lads together for uh, a job at Tottenham, you know, the stadium and all that. I was like, absolutely not on your Nelly, mate. Are we going there? You know what I mean? The only time I have actually, I have been there. We won, uh, I think it was 2 0, I think it was. We won, uh, I put the picture up. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, what it was was I, I uh, he done a lot of. He's got one of his clients is to do with telecoms and all that. And I went to B and Q, like the head office in Southampton, and we were running in these uh, massive great coax and all that, like data for all these monitors and all that. And what the lads were doing there is that they had like uh, these sort of, these black rods. I'm sure it worked with white red ones. But what they done is that they put a bottle top on the top, and as you was pushing it, it was just bouncing out of the basket and. Uh, and the tray and all that. And the best thing is, is that it works either way, like a, as an in or an outie. I'll grab a bottle, I've got one behind me, I'll, I'll quickly yeah, show so you. So literally, all you have to do, all you can do is that you can either put it in like that and push it over so it just bounces. It just doesn't fall through the basket or it doesn't get caught on anything. It works a treat. And also, with the lid on, you can stab it through the back and do the same thing. And honestly, give it a try, man. I tell you, I, 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 when I first see it, I thought, nah, that ain't gonna work, you know? And we was, we were doing it through cable tray and all sorts of stuff cable tray and basket and it works an absolute treat but yeah but i would say you probably need the uh the thicker the thicker rod this is the black one that's the most i think it's to do with how rigid it is you know so that it goes black black red yellow white they also do the similar one and that and also enough a little treat which was a nightmare in this little uh ck mighty set is that you get this end bit here and i bought this i bought this and i lost uh, for some reason I, I lost that for some reason and i actually it actually comes with one of those so it's a right touch it actually fitted as well it's a nice little bit of tool as well and you know, I just use it as draw wire for conduit, you know what I mean? I've also got the nylon one. I've also got the nylon ones, but obviously they are uh, absolutely pony. I keep it in a boat, a bit of Copex, but it get tangles up and all that. Right, that's just enough a little episode. As I say, that um, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, that loadout shop is online as well. Give that a ch give the check that out because he's got some proper nice tools, and he's also got his own YouTube channel as well where he does proper nice reviews and all that of all his tools. He's you know that they sell and all that, and he's he seems an absolute smashing fella. And hopefully one day we. Can can get him on the channel and uh, have a little chat about tools and all that anyway it's only a short little episode i hope you can like subscribe and all that jazz right if you're going to be anything today be electric up the old blues you know